Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So we're gonna be vlogging today, but at the beginning of this video, I wanted to put a recipe for you guys that we absolutely loved. It is amazing, so I highly recommend this one. Um, I will be making it quite often for my family, but I'm just going over the ingredients here with you. So you're gonna need two jars of the vodka sauce or just regular spaghetti sauce, whatever kind you like. One jar of Bertoli, um, it's just like Alfredo sauce, and that's the brand that I'm using today um, because we just really like it. I'm using a box of ziti, some regular sausage and onion, and then some cheese of your choice. I just had some here that I need to use up, so I'm using a good amount of cheese, but it's all up to how much you want to use. I highly recommend a lot because I do feel like it really made the dish like um, even more amazing than what it was. Um, so the original recipe calls for a half a pound of hamburger and a half a pound of sausage. I just did full on sausage today and I thought it turned out so good. My, my little boy that is four loved it. My husband loved it. I loved it. We ate it for like three days. I'm not even lying to you guys. It's the truth. We've ate it. We ate it for like days because it makes a lot of food, but, um, it was so good like every time we would reheat it so I'm doing some seasonings you guys know how I am about seasonings I'm all about a lot of flavor and I'm doing pepper salt onion powder garlic powder Italian seasoning and then we're also going to do minced garlic here in a little bit as you guys saw um let me show that a little bit ago but I just kind of like wait until the meats cook down a little bit before I add in the garlic and then I'll just kind of like stir it in and let it cook for a few minutes um and I also diced up an onion and threw in there. Of course, I always have to have an onion. I feel like it makes everything taste better. Um, I think that was all the seasonings that I used, but um, the Italian seasoning is really good for like pasta dishes. I really like it anyways. I guess it's what you like. You can kind of do what you wanna do for this recipe and make it your own. The original recipe doesn't use vodka sauce. It uses just regular like pasta sauce, like the red kind, you know, like regular spaghetti sauce. So you can do whatever you want to do. We personally thought the vodka sauce, I thought it turned out amazing. So it's whatever you guys want to try. You can experiment and, you know, switch it up, whatever. But this pasta dish, if you like Italian food, you are going to freaking love this one. So I um, highly recommend. So I'm just going to wait it for my water to boil and now I'm going to throw in my ziti here. I cooked it for maybe about 10 minutes and it was done. And then we're going to gather a casserole casserole dish. It's really early in the morning so I apologize. I can't really talk that well. But um, So I just took all, once my ziti was cooked, I just took all the pasta sauce and like dumped it in the um, saucepan here. And we're just going to mix that together really well. And then we're gonna go over to our casserole dish and you do wanna spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. So I just had avocado oil non-stick spray. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer it. So I started with a little bit of sauce on the bottom and then I went in with my noodles next and then with my meat mixture and then with the cheese and I just repeated it until everything was in the saw in the casserole dish so it's kind of like you're making a lasagna but it's with pasta and it's just I mean it's a little bit different than lasagna obviously but yeah that's what I did I just kept layering it and then when I was done I completely um so I think I cooked this at 350 for um 40 minutes in the oven and once it gets close to being done, like the 35 minute mark, you can take it out and add your cheese um, on the top of it and just kind of let it melt down really good and then it's ready, it's done. So this is something that you could prep ahead of time because it does have to cook like a little bit in the oven, but it was so dang good guys. I highly recommend, I hope that
guys welcome back to a new vlog so I haven't decided by this time you guys will either see it first I think I'm gonna put it first so I hope you guys enjoyed the um, baked ziti recipe I actually made that like a few nights ago and we're still eating leftovers on it so um, it was absolutely freaking delicious like that is gonna be like one of my I think I liked it a lot better than spaghetti alone like it was just so good so if you guys try it out let me know like I said if you don't use the um, original pasta like the uh, just tomato pasta and I or if you use like the vodka sauce like I did um, I really think the vodka sauce was like amazing if you like the vodka sauce with the Alfredo so you guys will have to let me know but I'm telling you guys, that one did not disappoint. We all loved that one. Cole really liked it. He ate some of it today. The first day I made it, he wouldn't try it. But today, he tried it, and then he wanted more. So he ate a bunch of it today. And my husband and me, just I'm like, oh my god. I put it in the, for leftovers. I'm like, I think this is better than when it first came out of the, the oven. So hopefully you guys try that recipe out and let me know. But welcome back. Today is Friday. Um, I'm like really tired right now because we just ate and I had to take one of those pills that I don't like to take but I was ha I've been having some just like reflux flare flare up probably from all the coffee that I've drank guys I'm I'm just <sighs> I go through this with myself all the time and I know what I need to do is I just need to give up coffee but it is so hard when you like love it and you just really look forward to having that in the morning and um but at the same time, I really want to just better myself, and I haven't been eating well either. I've just been eating tons of junk food and just nasty food, and I've been feeling like crappy. So I really want to get back to eating better, and um, I just know that I feel a lot better when I eat healthy and I exercise, which I haven't done for a few days, so I need to get back into that. So it's just a, a, a you know, a process, but in this rug. Cole's out here pushing his lawnmower, but the cat from the litter box being over here, I need to clean that out too, but it's just a mess out here right now, so I want to vacuum this rug really good, and I brought out the old shark. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys remember this vacuum, but this was like, I've had this vacuum since we lived in our old house, and it's, it's really just held up really well, but it's just really old now, and this was like my holy grail vacuum that just I love for carpeted floors. It works so good on carpet. Probably better than those cordless vacuums do. These have more power to them. But um, Cole decided to dump out his toys here for me to pick up too. So I get to do that in a minute. But yeah, guys, I'm just like really tired right now. I feel like all day long I've been yawning. Like I need caffeine, but I haven't drank it. I don't know what else to do to give me energy. I just have just ate crap. And then my husband brought home a box of those Christmas tree cakes that I freaking love. Those are like my favorite Debbie cakes of all time. <laughs> so he had to bring those home. And I'm like, why? We had Dunkin', we had, what was it, Krispy Kreme donuts yesterday. I mean, guys, I'm telling you, like I've been, whew. Cole? Okay. Cole's just pushing the llama around the house here, so he's good. Here he comes. He's gotten a lot better at listening as far as staying up here and not, like, taking off to my parents' house. Um, I will. I'm going to... Hold on. I'll come. Hold on. Just give me a minute, okay? I want to vacuum this rug, and then I'll go. walk so we're gonna go walk 
I just swept that rug up a little bit. I wasn't too particular about it just because it's so windy. Leaves are just going to blow everywhere here very, very soon. They'll probably all be on my back porch soon. So, there really ain't no point to get particular about cleaning that. But all my vehicles need cleaned. I'm going to have to clean my vehicles maybe tomorrow. Um, because they're all just like a mess. I'm coming. <laughs> Cole said, Mama coming. I'm coming, man. I'm getting there, boy. So, this is going to sound maybe kind of too much for some people, but I'm getting really excited to decorate for Christmas. And I know that sounds crazy, but I've had my fall stuff up since August which is a long time. But not only just that, but it's near, now that it's like toward the end of October, I'm just getting excited, you know, for that holiday season. And I love, love Christmas season. So I'm excited. I mean, I like Halloween and I like fall season too, but I also just really love the whole holiday season. And it takes me a little while to get ready for it, like to get in the mood for it. But I just lately, I've been like, hmm, I'm starting to really get in that mood. They said decorate trees, these little bushes in my yard. I'd love to do something with them, but I don't know what. Maybe put some lights on them was a thought. And decorate them, put some bulbs on them because they kind of look like Christmas trees. They're a little fat, but other than that. See so, ya. Yeah. It is also like really warm outside. It doesn't look like it because I'm wearing this coat. It's actually got to like 70 degrees today, which the crazy weather's back. It's gonna be like in the 70s this week after it just got done to be in like a cold front. You know, everybody's gonna be sick all over again. I'm the only one, I don't have no wood to knock on, but I'm the only one that did not get sick this last past time my family was sick. I'm the only one that did not get sick. I don't know how, but. I'm starting to look really pale again because I have not been out in the sun recently and I need to probably take some vitamin D um, so I need to do that because I haven't been in the sun much wait up chicken where's Otis? did he leave us? Did he, Otis leave us? Cole, look at all the leaves. Wow. Been a while since we've come down through here and it's really leafy. <laughs> you could rake them up and then jump in them. You can sit up there. Cole sitting up in a picture, Cole. Go look on it. She'll be out in just a minute. Grandma's gonna take us home to our home that's like 500 feet away in the car. <laughs> so that's the only reason why Cole's sitting up front, guys. Just know that. We're not going on a main road. We're literally just going up 500 yards. Our house is right up there. Morning, it is the next day. Um, I don't remember what we last filmed. I think we was outside, but 
So yeah, my husband just left for work. Um, my hair looks a lot redder on camera than what it is in real life. I'm looking at my hair in the mirror and it doesn't look this red in real life. So, But anyways, it does have definitely a red tint to it, but that's okay. I like the red, so... I'm gonna get dressed. I just literally got out of bed. Um, Cole's running around with his backpack on thinking he's going to school on a Saturday. So yeah, I think I'm gonna make a smoothie for breakfast this morning, so I'm gonna have Cole help me do that. But I'm gonna make my bed really quick, and Otis is about due for his bath, but I think I'm gonna try to hold off and do it um, maybe another day, because I don't know if I want to do it today. <laughs> Honestly, I get so, like, just, like, lazy about ba bathing Otis. I don't know why. I just hate it. I hate the, the chore of it. Otis is such a big dog and like I have to drag him most of the time into the bathroom until we get to this point right here and then he'll go right in by himself. But he never wants to get in the bathtub. <laughs> but um, I just don't want to do it, you know. And then with it being cold outside, I'd have to wait till it warms up too because I like to let him go out on the porch and dry off for a little while. Because um, if I use the hair dryer on him, which I have to in the winter time, so his fur will dry a lot better. But um, it kind of dries out his skin, so I'd rather let him naturally air dry. But Yellow slept with me all night last night. Chicken wing. What are you doing with your backpack? You watching Mickey? It's an orange. You got your shoes and everything on. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? It's an orange. It is? It's an orange. They're, your shoes are orange? It's a mama. Enough complaining, guys. Let's get this bed made. Thank you, Cole. Thank you, Cole. Oh, thank you, Cole. Alex. Good job, Cole. Good job, Cole. Good job, Cole. To make the bed up. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Thank you. Wow. You did such a good job. You did such a good job, so. Okay. I gotta go find something to wear. I have one of my pillows. There's something under the cover over there. Could be like a song, like a poem. All right, so I got ready. I did put a little makeup on it after all. But, um, cup. are we gonna make a smoothie? Cup. We gotta get the cup, we're gonna get it. All right, so. Cup. Yep, we're gonna get it. Cup. So, um, we're gonna just do a strawberry banana smoothie, I think, with some added yogurt <coughs> for extra protein. So I got coconut yogurt, it's gonna be like yum, yum, yum. It is like my favorite. Yogurt. That one? You want that one? Okay. You got my mom Pap's cup? Um, mommy will use this one, I guess. So, okay. Alright, let's get out our stuff. We need... Here's our, here's our banana. Cole, put that okay, here. just hold on, Cole. Uh, Where's my strawberries? I don't know, see them. Here they are. We're going to add one of these yogurts. Our battery's going dead. We gotta change, you guys. Okay, so Cole put everything in. Here, wait, honey. We gotta put this in. Now we're gonna throw in the yogurt. Of course, I'm gonna have to get a spoon. Wait a minute, Cole. All right, so we got our protein in there. Now. I think this is how I avoided getting sick because I drank a few of these. They have like extra vitamin C. So we're going to do a little bit of that. Not a whole lot, just like a little bit. And then I'm going to put some. Baby, don't say you don't. She's pretty in pink. All right, you ready? Pink. Pink. Is it pink? Yeah, you like that? Okay, ready? Okay, give it a taste. 
Good dog. Mmm. Okay, give it a taste. See how you like it. Did you taste it? I'm going to see you taste it. Cole. Mm. I don't know if you tried it. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is a really good. Really, really good. Okay, it is much later now, but I'm watching The Watcher on Netflix. Have you guys seen that? Let me know down below, but it's kind of like a thriller. Some weird shit goes on in it. It's just kind of weird, but... How are you, sir? You being a pretty pop? You being pretty boy? Huh? You being pretty boy? So Cole's taking a nap. It's almost 3 o'clock. My husband should be coming home. But I'm probably not going to vlog a whole bunch more. But I wanted to come on and end this off for you guys. But um, let me know down below what you guys are watching. I'm always interested to hear what other people are watching. So then I can go check it out if it's good. Let me know. But um... This one's weird. I haven't really made it that far. I'm only like on the third episode or something. So I have not made it far at all. But the only time I can watch shows is at nighttime most of the time or like nap time. But tonight I kind of swapped my TV time. Let me pause this. You know, this is distracting. Um, I just kind of swapped it today, so tonight I gotta finish up some videos. I edited two videos this morning while Cole was watching, um, Finding Nemo out here. So we both sat on the couch together, and I just kind of, like, got some computer work done while he was occupied. So that was nice. But, um, I need to finish, like, and do a couple voiceovers, because this vlog, at the beginning of it, I need to do that voiceover for the cooking part. Which, like I said, let me know if you try out the ZD. Um, I'm definitely, it's going to be like one of my top things that I'm making like probably very like often, you know. It was so good. Like I couldn't believe how good it was. So let me know if you guys try it. But um, I'm also about to have this. I ate really healthy so far today, except for now. I'm going to have this, but I'm also going to go walk hopefully when my husband gets home we can go where we like to go walk and I can get like six laps in I think it makes a mile so I want to go do that because I'm feeling really good today so I'm definitely feeling like so much more energized than yesterday and it's probably because I've ate better and I had a smoothie this morning and smoothies give me like a lot of energy so I've been feeling super good and it's really warm outside it's like 70 degrees here so I got some like planned videos coming up for you guys that I'm going to be doing some Christmas related stuff very very soon um, probably in like the next two weeks so I hope that you guys are ready for it if not you can always come back and watch it when you are um, I was trying to also like I know it's like way early to be planning vlogmas that won't be until December but a lot of you guys voted that you wanted me to do vlogmas so I'm going to be doing that I decided to do that again because I had fun doing it last year so I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button if you are new and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.